Hello everyone! Welcome to storytelling episode number one. My name is Arani and I will be leading our storytelling video today. As you can see, today we will be reading Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. This is one of my personal favorite books as I really enjoy the fun interactive aspect of this book as well as the other versions of Dear Zoo that are, avail that are available. Before we get into the book, I do want to introduce a fun and interactive song that I like to sing before story time. I like to sing this song before circle time and story time, just as a fun way to transition and prepare the children into the story that we will be reading together. This song is called Here Are My Glasses and it is a song by Lori Berkner. I really like this song because it talks about the aspect of preparing ourselves for story time. I will add the information of the song and the, where you could find the song in the description box below so that you could at home watch it yourself as well. So before we begin, I want to show you some of the actions that come with this song. So we're going to use our hands and pretend that we are wearing glasses. Can everybody go like this? Make two circles with your hand and pretend that there are your glasses. Great. Now I want you to use your hands and pretend that you are holding a book. Use your hands and open up your book. Great job! Okay, so this is how the song goes. Here are my glasses, here is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and Close up my book. Awesome. We're going to do that one more time together. And this time I will add the lyrics on the link on the video below so that you can watch and learn the song lyrics as we sing along together. So again, I will add the lyrics on the bottom of the screen so that you can watch and sing along. And this way you can also teach this song to your children at home and sing it during your own story time at home as well. Okay, let's do that one more time. Here are my glasses, here is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and close up my book. Awesome, that's great. Okay, now it's time for us to get into our story today. So, we are reading Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. As I mentioned, there are different versions of this book and there are different variations of the story in the sense that there's different aspects of interactive um, storytelling throughout the story. So this one, Dear Zoo, is a touch and feel version. So I have the touch and feel version, but there also is an interactive flap version where the children can open up the flap and also guess who's hiding behind the flap while you're reading to them. Because this is a touch and feel version, and I know everybody watching at home cannot touch or feel my book through the video, I will be explaining and describing what I feel and what I'm touching so that you can get an idea of what the animals feel like and how the animals feel and the texture that every animal has on their body. Okay, let's begin. Dear Zoo, I wrote a letter to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an, a very big elephant. Ooh, he had big floppy ears. Feel his floppy ears. They're very rough. They feel very rough. But he was way too big. I couldn't keep an elephant in my house. So I had to send him back. Bye-bye, elephant. Oh, so instead, they sent me a very tall animal. And this animal had a very long neck. Hmm, who could it be? They sent me a giraffe. Look how tall this giraffe is. Oh, and feel his very long neck hair. Ooh, it was furry and hairy. But he was way too tall. I couldn't fit a giraffe in my house. So I had to send him back to the zoo. Bye, giraffe. So instead, do you know what they sent me? 
they sent me an animal with lots of hair around their face. An animal that has a mane around their face. And this animal was very fierce. It's a lion. This lion, she was way too fierce and way too strong. I couldn't keep a lion in my house. Let's see. You could put your finger in here. I hope she doesn't bite me. She was a very gentle lion, but she was way too big to be living in my house. And also very loud, lions are loud. So I had to send her back. Sorry, lion. So instead, do you know what they sent me? They sent me a camel. <coughs> they sent me a camel. But this camel was too grumpy. I didn't want a grumpy camel in my house. Feel his very rough fur on his body. And I also noticed this camel only has one hump. Some camels have just one hump. But I couldn't keep a camel in my house either. So I had to send the camel back. Look at the camel's face. How do you think that camel looks? I don't think the camel's too happy that I'm not keeping it. <gasps> So instead, they sent me, oh my goodness, they sent me a snake. Oh, but that snake, it came in a very bumpy basket. The basket's very bumpy. Can you hear the noise? But that snake was too scary. I didn't want a scary snake in my house. So I had to send him back. This is a fun one. So instead, do you know what they sent me? They sent me a very fun, silly animal that ate all of my bananas. <gasps> Who was it? <laughs> they sent me a naughty monkey. This monkey had very furry hair. But he was just way too naughty. He was jumping all over the house. He was eating all my bananas. And he was just being very silly. I couldn't keep the monkey at home, so I had to send him back. Bye-bye, monkey. Monkey has a very long and curly tail. So instead, they sent me a... <gasps> an animal that loves to jump. Hmm. And he also has very sticky, sticky feet. Do you see how sticky? But he was way too jumpy. He was jumping all over the place. He was sticking on my ceilings. He was sticking on my wall. He was sticking all over the house. So I couldn't keep him. I had to send him back. He was way too jumpy. So instead, the zoo thought very, very, very hard. And they thought, hmm, what animal could we send her that's not too heavy, that's not too tall, that's not too silly, and that's not too scary? And an animal that's not too grumpy either. Who do you think they sent me instead? Instead, they sent the most perfect little <coughs> puppy. Look how cute that puppy is. They sent me a puppy instead and he was perfect. So of course I kept him. He even brought his shiny soft ball. It was very squishy. And he even has a bowl of water to drink from and a bowl with his food to eat from. I was so happy that they sent me a puppy. I'm going to keep that puppy forever. I would love to cuddle that puppy too. How fun. The end, and that's the end of Dear Zoo. Like I mentioned, this is the touch and feel version. So when you are reading this book with your children at home, you could ask them to describe what they feel. 
Is it soft? Is it rough? Is it funny feeling? And this is a great book to teach children about the different characteristics that animals have. Often we don't see animals up close in person, so we don't know what their characteristic is like. We don't know how they feel. And this is a great book to illustrate and to describe the characteristics each animal has and how every animal is very different from each other. So now that this book is finished, I want to share with everybody a fun activity that you can do at home with your children. We encourage families to just try this out with your children at home. Of course, this is easier with older children as they're able to articulate their thoughts with you better. But I encourage everyone to pretend to write a letter to the zoo. And you can write to the zoo and you can ask them about all the animals that they have at the zoo. Although right now we can't go and visit the zoo, I think it's a great idea to foresee what possibly a visit to the zoo could look like. If you haven't visited the zoo before, maybe you can ask your children what kind of animals do you think you will see at the zoo? How do you think these animals will look? If you were to touch the animal, how do you think they will feel? These are all great questions to ask your child to get their brains thinking and to use their imagination on all the different things that they can explore with in their thoughts. I hope everyone enjoys story time and I hope that that's a great activity that you can try at home. Please send us your feedback if you like this story time or if you even tried out this activity at home. If this is an activity that you tried out, we would love to hear from you. You could email us at our Adventure Place email address at earlyonadventureplace.ca. And we hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Bye-bye, everyone.